first time in a long time I decided to do two Infinity movies in a week. And this is the second movie I choose? Uh, let's get it over with. So, hi, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode where our new films currently in theaters. And today we're talking about The Strangers, Chapter 1. It's the third movie in The Strangers franchise, which literally features three killers just stalking and killing a young couple. That's the general gist of the film. And there's literally nothing else to talk about, as it follows every beat that you've seen in every slasher horror movie up to this point. There is literally nothing original here. I didn't think of a single moment where I was like, wow, that's unique. All the moments in this film are taken from other much better horror movies. And I, I'll be honest, I have never seen the other two Stranger movies, but I'll don't think I needed to because I didn't seem to be lost in this film. I just couldn't find a reason to care. And that's, again, partially because the story's bad, but also because I couldn't latch on to these characters because they were so stupid. Literally, they make the worst decisions you could possibly make. You want to know how to make your horror movie scary? Feature smart characters trying to make smart decisions, and those smart decisions not work out. I mean, literally, at one point in these movies, in this movie, uh, these characters have a gun, which is so rare in horror movies nowadays for one or any of the characters to have a firearm. So they actually have a reasonably good chance of surviving this because they have a gun and all their attackers have, like, melee weapons that need to be up close and personal. So you have a good shot here as long as you're it's a little bit smart on how you use that gun, and they're dumb. They're just dumb on how they use it, and they get ambushed, and, oh. Folks, I, <laughs> I wanted to like this movie. I went to see this one because I saw the trailer for it, and I actually thought it looked kind of creepy. And I thought it could be kind of good to watch. Kind of regretting that at the moment. There isn't a single good decision these characters make. The story's pretty lame. The acting's a lot of overperforming, and I don't think the direction for these guys was all that good. The visuals are nothing to write home about. You've seen this movie before at this point. It's literally the same as a bunch of other slasher movies you have seen. There's nothing new and inventive with the visuals here. And then you have the music, which honestly was the best part of the movie, but... It's only because it's like borrowed music and the score's not bad, but it's nothing again to write home about. There's just nothing here that is interesting or new. It's the most mundane horror film that I have seen in quite a while. And I'm hugely disappointed because I still think the trailer looked pretty good. I don't know what Stranger fans are going to think about this film. Again, I didn't see the first two films, but I can tell you this much. They might are more than likely going to be better than this film. Because this film had nothing going for it. It had nothing going for it. At the end of the day, I'm going to give The Strangers a 4 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a lower score is because some of the music's good. And the visuals aren't awful. I could still tell what was going on on screen. It's just... Such a mundane experience that I do not advise giving it a watch. Anyway, that's my opinion on The Strangers Chapter 1. What do you think about it if you've seen it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.